My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The Wooden Boat Experience. Hey Speckles. Do that jump in, dork. Okay? See if we can't get you on episode one of season two. It seems to me that you jump around a lot in this boat shed. Can you tell the viewers why uh, and how your process works? Yeah, my process is a little bit strange. Um, you're kind of seeing what's happening inside of my head all the time. Is I'm shooting from one thing to another thing, whatever interests me at the moment. 
Um, it's a little different when you already have a boat in the water and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to be able to get out in the water. I have the skiff on the water. I have the lineman on the water. So the projects that I'm doing, like this Chris Craft, um, they aren't an emergency. For some people, they don't already have a boat in the water, and then it's a whole different deal. But for me, I can kind of follow my whims and um, do what I feel like doing right now. And I don't want it to well, become a job. Well, now that makes sense. Just what are your plans for season two? My plans for this season are finish this Chris Craft. I want to get that done. COVID really threw me off in the spring. I kind of got out of whack, but um, I'm anxious to get back onto this. I also have my uh, skiff that I bought I, um, to restore. And that one I want to use for next year. And I also want to build a new skiff because I have that wood sitting over there that I'm going to use to build that. So lots of things to do, but as usual, I'm going to follow where my feelings go and where how I want to do ah, things. Very interesting. What's new and exciting in Season 2? Any big plans? What can everybody expect for Season 2? Well, the stuff I already described, but also we got a couple cool things going on right now. Just got these stickers in, Season 2 stickers. You can see they say WBE Season 2. So if you don't know about the wooden boat experience, you're not going to understand what these are, although they look kind of cool. You can tell they're a life ring. But anybody that wants one that's watching this episode or rewatches it later on, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will send you one of these stickers. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I see. Also, I've been doing some of these glasses. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in here. Put it up here where it's got a background. Um, but I hand painted these. I did like 24 of them. And next week you're going to find out about these. They have Each one has a different boat. This one has a skiff. This one has a double cockpit. Here's a old launch. So you guys, these are going to be available to you guys and you'll find out details on that next week. You mentioned something about following you live. How does that work? So going live, going live involves an app called Map My Tracks and the information will be down below in the description. And it's, if you guys sign up for that, it's free. Um, I don't get anything for it or anything. It's just I actually pay for it for the extended version so I can go live. But you guys get a free um, version. You go on there. You follow Glass Goat. And Glass Goat is one word. No space in between. When you follow me, you'll get a notification that tells you that I'm live. And when I go out in the boat, anytime I'm in a boat, in my skiff, in my Lyman, uh, in the Antique Boat Museum boat, the only one I don't do it on is the boat that goes back and forth to Singer Castle because it's just the same ride over and over again. But all the other ones you can see right when I'm doing it. You can see in the boat where I am. So it's interesting. At least I think it is. I see you're wearing a Danger Marine shirt. How'd you get that? Oh, this Danger Marine shirt? Well, I got that when I interviewed Stu in Australia. I assume you watch YouTubers. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh, what am I watching on YouTube? Well, you're going to think this is really weird, but I watch this thing called 3D Bot Maker. 3D Bot Maker? Yeah. What's 3D that? Bot, 3D Bot Maker. Sounds strange. It has nothing to do with boats. It's uh, Hot Wheels cars on this racetrack, and it's just, it's fun. It's what the only thing I've been watching all summer long. I'm looking forward to getting back to Samson Boat Company, Acorn to Arabella, Danger Marine, all those things. But man, my summer with all the captaining has just been crazy. Uh, the other captain broke his hand at the marina so i've been doing a lot more captaining than i expected to do it's only two more weekends to labor day and the tour boat shuts down and i will be back to somewhat normal and i will have three more days a week and then this boat shed is going to be busy so i'm glad you guys joined me in in this boat shed i'm glad you came and and introduced yourself to me and just showed up here out of the blue didn't even know who you were but it's cool that you came to interview me and i'm glad you were here and welcome to the boat shed. Welcome to the wooden boat experience. And I'll see all you guys next week for episode two of season two.